Okay, hello everyone. I'm here with Steven Chin. He's head of developers for JFrog and he's also a Java champion. And I'm honored to have him here in the channel. So Steven, hello. How are you? Good, good. So I'm, I'm enjoying Morocco. Yeah. At the, the DevOps Morocco speaker trip. As you can see, we're, we're on a beautiful shoreline on the Atlantic on the coast of um, Agadir. And um, yeah, it's been a great event so far. Great, great. Thank you so much, Steven. So uh, the first question I'm going to make to you is how do you see the future of Java in the market? Yeah, so I, I think when you when you look at the future of Java, the, the best place to look and, and, and think about where Java needs to go is um, most of the, the new languages and technologies are targeting cloud services, um, microservices, um, even serverless technologies, and they need to be very fast, short startup time, um, low memory footprint. And I think all of these are things which the Java language is, is capable of and the Java platform is capable of with um, better compiler technology ahead of time compilation and the, the ability to, to easily package um, Java classes, which will run a startup quickly. And that's where the Java language needs to continue to move in order for it to be successful in the future, because everything's moving towards smaller, faster cloud deployed services, because we're all pushing things to, to the cloud and we're trying to deploy quicker. We're trying to fix security issues, patch things, um, do releases, not just monthly, not just weekly, but hourly. And to accomplish that, you need a very lightweight, fast, high-performance runtime. Okay, great. Thank you so much for the answer, Steven. And the next question is about how to keep up to date uh, with technologies, because many developers ask me that, and I know it's a big challenge. So what are uh, your tips uh, for developers to keep up to date? Because, you know, there are so many technologies, so many things you have to learn that uh, makes the things very difficult. Yeah, no, no, no. So I, I would say stick to the, the fundamentals. And, and when I say fundamentals, if you if you think about it, can we, can we flip the camera around here? No, not that easily. Okay. But when you say fundamentals, um, you, you can go back and you can see, well, you know, how did people in the past get around? And, you know, in the background there, there's a, there's a camel. Um, <laughs> really early on, people, people would use like horse and buggy and cart and like like I think if you look historically at Java, the fundamentals are um, understanding the language really well, like knowing the object-oriented model, how the classes work, like the core key libraries. And there's there's a lot of stuff on the Java platform which has has evolved over time. And um, I think that you want to stick and and try to. Focus on the fundamentals. There, there we can see the camels moving in the background. Now. You want to focus on the fundamentals, but then pick the technologies which you're focused on. So if you're doing um, databases, you know, learn learn the database APIs for the the database which you're you're using in your project. If you're using, um, let's say, some RESTful services, um, again, like focus on those and. Um, Doing things like unit testing, learning about um, you know CI/CD pipelines and deployment is generally applicable and helps you with your overall career. Yes. So I would say before you start focusing on fancy new technologies, just look back at the things which have made Java great over the years and focus on those first. Great. Thanks so much for uh, another great answer, Stephen. And uh, another question is about your keynote. So tell us a little bit more about your keynote that you gave here in DevOps Morocco. So uh, let the uh, audience know a little bit more about the, the keynote you did. Yeah, so I gave a keynote which was all about the new challenges which are facing developers with supply chain security attacks. And, um, this is something which has happened recently with SolarWinds, which was um, a supply chain attack against the government with um, Log4j, the Log4Shell incident, the Spring4Shell incident, and a whole bunch of other security exploits. And now that 
the open source libraries that we all use to build our technologies are under attack. You need to be very aware and cognizant about how you're securing your software and what your dependencies are. Um, pulling down dependencies from Maven Central and relying on um, random libraries can be quite challenging if you're not making sure they're from a verified source, that um, they're, you're staying up to date on the latest fixes and patches, and that way you're not exposing yourself, your company, or your customers to zero-day vulnerabilities. Okay, awesome. Thanks a lot for your answer. And the last question is about what books do you think that developers should read so that they can uh, become a better software engineer? I think there's, there's a lot of really good books which have evolved over the year to, yeah. to describe the core Java programming language. And I think additionally understanding um, things like, like unit testing, yeah. how to do DevOps. We just did a, a book recently called DevOps Tools for, for Java Developers. Oh, nice. That's great. Um, so Melissa McKay. Michelle Ruiz, um, yeah. myself, and Baruch Sedigursky read that book, so I think awesome. that's another good resource. Yes. But uh, again, like I think if you if you understand the, the core Java language, if you understand unit testing, agile development, um, the DevOps, and deployment methodologies, that gives you a good foundation for any sort of job application which you want to write in the future. Awesome. So I'm going to put uh, in the description of this video the link of the book. And again, thank you so much for this awesome interview, Steven, and really honored to have you here in the channel. Yeah, no, thank you very much. Thanks, everyone. Bye-bye.